Marine researchers say the health of Moreton Bay's dugong population is looking good, despite their habitat being badly disturbed by the January floods. Biologists from Queensland and New South Wales have teamed up to study the vulnerable mammals four months after the big wet. Dugongs are slow-moving grazers, but they're not easy to catch. Seven people hold the mammal, waiting for it to tire. Some don football helmets to protect themselves against the might of the sea cows. Slowly and carefully, the dugong is then winched up to the boat on a specially designed stretcher. We try and minimise the stress by um, catching them in a really quick and efficient manner. And then the work begins. The researchers take blood and other samples to test for pollutants and metals. They measure heart rate, length and weight. This one is just under 600 kilograms. This is the third dugong the researchers have caught today. It's a female and they're hoping she might be pregnant. But now it's a race against time. They have less than 40 minutes to get all the information they need from the animal before having to let it go. A quick ultrasound and confirmation. Catching pregnant females is a really good sign that the population's healthy and that they're reproducing. All the dugongs tagged so far are in excellent condition. It is a little bit surprising. I actually thought that we might see some uh, health problems because after the floods we actually saw some animals move from the bay even down to the Gold Coast. Moreton Bay is home to about a thousand dugongs and there are concerns for their future. Brisbane is the fastest growing port in Australia and it's not only the fastest growing port but we've got more recreational boats so this population is always going to be vulnerable due to those reasons. And in need of protection. Francine Norton, ABC News, Moreton Bay.